Welcome back to my Dummy 5 one third scale reboot rebuild. Now we're back again to complete the project. Stay tuned and watch the update of where we are today from five years ago. It's all happening right now. Okay, people, back again with another update on my one third scale Johnny 5 rebuild. Today, I wanted to show the progress of the Johnny 5 head assembly and all of the customization work that I've completed for the past two weeks. So, as you can see, the head assembly is all completed. The details came out really nice. I got some glass eyes in there and there's a lot of detail inside it. The lights also have a backup red and blue LED light that's going to light up. I did some grill work effect on the rest of the case assembly for the lip lights. On the original one, for the most part, there is some lighting on the side. This thing being the size that it is, I just didn't feel it was worth putting lighting on the side because it's just not enough room to wire everything up and have it work properly. So I focused on the 19 lights and they do work really nice. I just got to increase the voltage so that the power runs the 19 LED lights properly. Here's the back assembly. Everything what it looks inside. There's a lot of things going on in, just in the head. I mean, this thing is going to go up and down, side to side. There's a lot of things that went into putting this thing together. And um, finally, it's all done. The other thing that I did was I find a nice space for the speaker. It's actually going to be in the back side. It's going to be sandwiched in between here like so. And the advantage of that is that as we trigger the sounds and this thing starts talking, all of the sounds are going to emanate right from the head and the lip like effect is just going to make it very realistic and uh, people are going to be able to hear this thing. I'm using a 60 watt car amplifier to amplify the sound because the module that I'm using for the mp3 sounds it's only a one watt uh, one ohm speaker and that just wasn't loud enough for what I wanted so I put a 60 watt amplifier with this 4 ohm 8 watt speaker and let me tell you that is plenty loud now. Uh, let's see, what else did I do? The piston assembly is all completed too. There are actually some springs inside that is spring loaded so that when the head goes up and down, the springs are going to be able to push it up and help the servo. I still got a little bit of more calibration to do with the spring because the ones that are there are a bit too heavy. I got to find a set of lighter springs that are still going to do the work that I needed to do, but not fight the servo so that I don't burn out the servo as I'm operating the robot. And I think that about wraps it up for this update. We'll see you around next time.